She is the creator of Barnes Billy. She is the star child. Thank you very much. Hello, thank you. Today I thought I would talk a bit about where I get all my ideas from, because that's probably the question I get asked most. I started off doing picture books in about 1999. Picture books is a, is a good way to start writing, I think, because it's very disciplined, because you only get 32 pages to tell your story. So you've really got to be tight about what it is you want to say. You can't, you can't just go off and just write and write and write and be very self-indulgent. You really have to pare the words down and then the words really have to work with your illustration. As you'll see, some of the picture books then have changed into pop-up books and that's a really exciting thing to animate your book. And it's just exciting to see how you can change the story. And actually, I think with this book, sort of make it better in, in fact so that's that was a nice thing to do and then with the Charlie and Lola's um, they're obviously the TV books as well but I've written sort of three Charlie and Lola books and then we started doing board books and that's that's quite fun too is to think of doing books for really young children everything's really started with Clara Speedy I didn't know anyone called Clarice, which is why I called the character Clarice, because I didn't want to associate it with anything. You don't have any, you know, I've never met a Clarice, so I don't have anyone called Clarice in my head. And so it was a nice name, and it's quite an old-fashioned name as well. It's, it's got a pretty sound, but it's not too girly. I wrote three Clarice Bean picture books. And then, as I said, they were just getting a bit too long. So, as much as I love doing the picture books, it seemed great to, to write a story where you can say a lot more about Clarice. Then I went on to write Clarice Bean Spells Trouble, which is, I guess Clarice Bean's got a bit older, the book's a bit longer, and it's really about something a little bit more serious, I guess, because in the book, Clarice is tussling with that, when is it right to do the wrong thing? And when is it wrong to do the right thing? The other thing that the book is about is really the unfairness of life. Now, I just thought I'd, I'd talk for a little bit about Pippi. Pippi was one of my favourite books when I was a child. And I think the reason that she appealed to me so much was because she's kind of got it all. She's got all this money got a big chest of gold. She is stronger than any human on earth. She can lift up her own horse, which is quite useful. <laughs> and she lives on her own in this house, and she doesn't have anyone telling her what to do. Now, these three things were fantasies of mine when I was nine. Oh. Well, at the moment, a tumble dryer, I think. I, <laughs> I just thought I'd show you how I, I sketch everything out in pencil, so everything is drawn. But it's not drawn once, it's drawn many, many times, because I sort of have to draw each picture until I get it right. The other thing is I love type. And you have to remember all these different typefaces that I use. There's lots and lots of different typefaces, also known as fonts, in the book have all been designed by somebody. And they've all been designed in a different way for a reason, to suggest something different, whether it's pretty or ugly. Oh, that changes all the time, because I, I listen to a lot of different music. Whenever my designer phones, he's always got classical music, and I always think, that's a really good idea. <laughs> it's actually quite calming. And, um, and it sort of keeps you very much grounded because it doesn't, I, I find it's quite just a nice, I don't know, it's a very nice sound to have on. I don't want to put classical music down, but just as a background sound, it can be really, really good to work to. This is Clara Bean, who's reading her comics in the airing cupboard. 
And um, that's something I used to do. And I kind of wanted to get that, that sense of her. Um, and the best way to do that was to just draw lots of vests and pants. I don't need to draw, draw what an airing cupboard looks like. Now, if anyone wants to ask any questions. What's my favourite book? Um, well, I think the Clara Steen books are my favourite favourite books overall.